You're looking for a new ESP-9 release, aren't you? So let's get right into it. So we're currently sitting here, taking a look on the latest release, which has just come out three days ago, the ESP-9 version 2.1.8. And if you do watch my videos lately, you notice that I haven't done a video about the version 6 and 7. So let's quickly scroll down a little bit and take a look what has changed on them. So for the version 2.1.6, we had a couple of changes, a couple of bugs with the real-time logs and a couple of fixes for the restart using the API. So a little bit of a minor change over here. 2.1.7 was a little bit bigger. We have fixed we have fixed the ocean min difficulty rejected chairs issue. So this has been resolved. And yeah, to update there, just quick instructions here on how to do this. So Scott has finally fixed the issue number 192 and the issue 196. So this is pretty good. As well as we have seen a couple of issues using the miner and then having a disconnect. And that's the reason why we're sitting in the version 2.1.8, which has plenty of new changes. So let's quickly go over them. So first things first, we do have a overheating situation, which could have happened. So no worries if your miner does loses his Wi-Fi and you do feel like there's an overheating situation, then update if your miner is still working as expected. As always, I do tell you guys, don't update a running system. If it is hashing, it is hashing and you don't need to actually update it. But yeah, that's uh, one issue that we figured out that some people had. So we addressed it and we fixed it. The next one is we have a software version string, which has been now added to the mining subscribe by WizKit. Thank you for contributing to the BitX project as well as we have some smaller optimization from George and we also have a add quick link to stats when mining an ocean so that's also cool this kid again thank you so the same feature that you do see on your miner if you do mine to the public pool you now also have a quick link to ocean which is brilliant we also have now a refactor for the deduplicate i2c parameters by tdb3 thank you for your contribution and as well as we have the DNS lookup moved inside the retry loop. Funny thing, for those of you who don't know what this is, your miner could have caused or could have had an issue while using your local DNS, for example, or public pool instead of an IP address. And when the Wi-Fi is coming back up, so we're talking here about issues when you lose Wi-Fi and what your Wi-Fi comes back up and then you're trying to connect to it or your miner is trying to connect to it and then actually trying to mine again. It might be the case that it didn't have the IP address or the IP address of public pool changed. So this is now in a loop that it actually also tries to look up the new IP address if it has been changed and uh, that's now working so that's good scott fish this thank you for doing so yeah, another same here i2c factorization by george's and what else we factor split v core from a specific unit to something abstract also by george and uh, then we have a finalized feature that i added to it so now when you do update to the version 2.1.8 and you have your bit aches and let me see if i do have one lying around here I do. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be able to be presented. Uh, with all of these bitaxes, this one here is an old one which does not feature any buttons, but you usually should have two buttons a reset button and a boot button. And uh, I'll quickly try to get my hands on a video so that I can uh, show you this a little bit more better. When you now press the boot button, this acts as a cycle button so when your bit is booted up and it is hashing and you're looking for the ip address and don't want to wait these 30 seconds to actually get to the screen you can press the boot button now and then it cycles th through the next screen so yeah just press the button and then it cycles through the next screen that's basically it for all the changes for the version 2.1.8, 2.1.7 and 2.1.6. I do hope that you find this video informational and I promise that I will do more regular updates about all new ESP dash minor releases. But yes, yeah, sometimes time's a little bit short. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you do enjoy today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any further content. Till then, thanks for watching.